Well, you've heard the saying before, probably, you need to learn to crawl before you walk. Well, these guys kind of just stuck at the crawling phase, so much so that they started their own 4x4 club of the Philippines. Check it out. Uh, we have 800 club members in Facebook alone and in Yahoo groups estimated around 300. Well, uh, Nissan Patrol Club is, is, is I say, second to none group. Uh, as you can see, we, we help each other. The club was formed not really to showcase our rigs and compare each other's rig, but morally we do share technical expertise. Uh, if I say a, a, a Nissan Patrol owner comes up with a problem with his rig, we give them uh, inputs on how to fix it. The Nissan Patrol Club is, uh, I'm a relatively new member, but uh, uh, it's, it's pretty much, it's a bunch of like-minded people. They all enjoy getting into the outdoors, into the jungle. And uh, it's about challenging the machine and challenging uh, your own uh, abilities and uh, improving on that. One thing I've discovered here with the off-roading is uh, there's a lot of private areas, whether it's uh, beaches or mountain areas or uh, uh, creeks or uh, even jungle areas, it's private. And uh, to access those areas, you need to be involved in a group and you need to know the owners. So uh, um, it's essential if you want to, to do serious off-roading to be part of a group here. They've been in the hardest trail that you could ever see. And having said that, the experience that they gained throughout the years is, uh, is really essential in, in like uh, making a sound decision and the providing a guidance to a new member or newbie as we call it in, in uh, coming up with uh, or setting up a rig. Actually every weekend I'm like a weekend warrior. I'm always in the jungle all over the Philippines uh, from Salmar to Bicol, uh, Quezon, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Aurora province, the border. Um, that's my hobby right there. Without a trail, I'm just sitting back at home, always dreaming for a trail. That's why every time I get a chance, I go to the jungle and just have fun, visit Mother Nature and just have fun. I don't know the exact term to describe trailing, but for me, it, it, it relieves stress for me. And I like the technical aspects wherein you need to think about how to take on uh, an obstacle uh, and especially when we need to fix things inside the jungle and we have limited resources so those things are really exciting for me. Hi, I'm Ryan Samonte and I own a 1991 Nissan Patrol 160. Yo, what's up? I'm Mad Max. I drive a 98 turbo intercooled patrol. Hi, I'm Christopher Ambat, and this is my 98 model Patrol GQ. Hi, I'm Chris Walsh. This is my 2009 Nissan Super Safari. Oh man, NPCP, our patrol club, is like a family, man. Everybody knows what's going on. We just have fun together, trail together. Aside from that, outside um, our group activity, uh, for instance, if, uh, if a friend is in trouble somewhere, we have this um, uh, database from our president, John Owas Lim. We just text members near the area so we can help out a member, like fix their engine, tow them somewhere safely. It's, it's just a family, you know, it's, it's just a pack of brothers from different walks of life and different professions. It's a core, it's a core, hardcore bond. And the bottom line is it saves money. Rather than them doing a trial and error, keep on dreaming. And the best thing that I could advise uh, or give as an advice is, I mean, setting up a 4x4 is really very expensive. Don't rush things. Know what you want and then work and realize your dream rig uh, or, or your dream setup. Uh, yeah, and uh, don't, don't, be, uh, don't be ashamed to consult others because that's the very reason why Nissan Patrol Club of the Philippines exist, uh, existed. 
We are the Nissan Patrol Club of the Philippines! Now that is how you use a 4x4. Okay, coming up after the break, we go back to where it all started. One of the most iconic brands for 4x4s, it's the Range Rover Evoque. 